Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have an interesting review, review for you today. This is the Ishing Q90C. Now, what is the Q90C? Well, as you can see from its camera here, it is an FPV flyer, a 5.8 gigahertz FPV flyer. Um, it is able to fly an angle horizon and acro. It is an update of the original Q90C. Here's the original Q90C, uh, Q90. <laughs> beside the Ishin Q90C. Um, it looks very similar, you know, same uh, shape. A uh, different kind of plastic, though, being used here. Um, it's a clear plastic on this one. You can see the innards here. But there are some also differences on the, the inside versus, you know, the um, flight control board and the, uh, FPV, or the FPV transmitter. Um, it still has the 1000 TVL camera, very good camera on this particular quadcopter. But this FPV micro FPV racer is intended for beginners uh, into the micro FPV racing world. Um, you know, with the Q90, the Ishin Q90, you have to bind that with your own transmitter. And then you have to go into beta flight and make sure all the settings are correct with your transmitter. And then you m might have to uh, mess around with the PID settings to get it right. This one has been tuned out of the box for this transmitter for beginner flyers. Okay, in fact, I do not recommend you going into beta flight, although you can. I, I did it last night, but do not go into beta flight and change anything, or there is a chance of bricking this quadcopter. I, again, I do not recommend connecting this to beta flight. I connected it just to see, you know, if these controls were working correctly. They were. So, you know, just take it as faith that you're going to get a, a quadcopter out of the box, connect it, and bound to the quadcopter uh, appropriately for that this particular transmitter. Um, others have, unfortunately, gone in and messed around with the settings and saved the settings in beta flight and discovered that it bricks the quadcopter. You have to go through a process to unbrick it. And uh, I'll, I'll include a link to somebody who was successful in unbrick unbricking their quadcopter after doing such. But again, do not do not go into beta flight with this. Use this USB port for one special feature what this quadcopter has. And let me go over this, this controller here. This controller can be hooked through the quadcopter to your computer to act as a flight sim to act with flight simulator programs. You can use this controller with flight simulator programs. And the way that is done is you connect without the battery, you connect the USB port to your computer and wait a few minutes there, to allow the drivers to download and install on your computer for this uh, uh, particular quadcopter before proceeding further. But after the drivers are installed on your computer and you have this hooked, in, you know, plugged into the USB port of your uh, computer, this will act as a dongle, which will bind when you turn this quadcopter or this controller on and hold on this game button. Okay, down in the lower left corner, this is channel game button. I'll explain the channel portion here for, or shortly. But press this game button. This will connect with the quadcopter through the USB port. The quadcopter is acting as a dongle. And then you can open up the free FPV free rider program uh, and actually fly angle mode, horizon, or actually angle and acro manual mode as it says here. You could actually practice uh, acro on a simulator before actually going out in the field with this, and a very good simulator at that, FPV Free Rider. I'll include a link below where to get FPV Free Rider. Um, let's go over the other features of this quadcopter, and it's done through this controller here. Now, as I mentioned, you can fly in angle mode, you can fly in horizon mode by pressing that button here, or as I'm going to do today, we'll, we'll select manual, acro mode, and FPV flying in acro. We'll try that out. Um, it does have dual rates, which you can press by, select by pressing this button here. This bind button, um, it shouldn't be necessary, but you can bind if you, your transmitter is not bound to the controller. You, uh, the way to bind it is to plug in the, the quadcopter and simultaneously, at the same time and just about, press this bind button and turn on the transmitter and it should bind to the quadcopter. And finally, it has an eight channel FPV transmitter. <coughs> And you don't have to press any buttons to change the channels. They are selectable by simply pressing this channel button here. And it will switch between the eight channels, FPV channels, to find a free, you know, an open channel that you might want to use. And finally, it does have a little bit of telemetry here. Um, this will vibrate when the battery gets low on the quadcopter. It will alert the 
alert you through vibration on the controller. Also, if you lose uh, contact with the um, or the quadcopter, if it flies out of range and drops, this will also vibrate to let you know that you're out of range. So that's about it. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, I have this bow, and we are going to start off in angle mode. So I'm selecting angle mode there, and you get a little bzz telling you you're in angle mode. And we are going to start at in low rate, and then I'm going to switch to high rate. So let's see how this performs in angle mode. Oh, I forgot to mention, to arm this, you got to bring this stick down and to the right, and this stick to the right. And that will arm the quadcopter. Okay, this is angle mode and beginner's right. Very sluggish, <laughs> very easy to fly actually, in beginner's right. Okay, let's go to dual right. Okay, this is high rate. A little more zippy. Not a super a lot of punch. Let's try out that uh, horizon. Horizon. Okay, did a slow roll. Okay, bringing it back. Let's go into acro now and try it out as an acro flyer. We'll back to angle. <laughs> Which way am I pointed here? Angle. Yeah, bringing it back down. Yeah, let's try out acro flying with this thing. Bringing it in, bringing it in, bringing it in. Ah, that's good enough. I'm just going to put it on the pad. Okay, I'm going to put the cap on my wife's head, and we'll switch it to acro and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Okay, let's see how this performs in acro. Got the goggles on. Let me adjust the goggles for my eyes. There we go. That's a little better. And take into the air. Oh, remember to arm it down to the right and far right on the right stick. And take into the air. It's a gentle beginner's acro flyer. And again, the, the uh, camera on this, the camera on this is uh, pointed flat with the front face of the, cam or of the quadcopter. So you can't go very fast with this, unfortunately. And the receiver or the transmitter on this is only 25 milliwatt. So I was getting scratchy out there before going very far. <laughs> so, I'm botting my head around a bit. I'm going to go up and over these trees, in, in other words. Uh, I can't get high speed on this because of the way the camera is. Um, you are going to probably need to, if you want to go high speed, you know, those of you that are intermediate flyers and experts, uh, this is going to be a little bit sluggish for you. And right now, I'm going to try to do something. Going up high. <laughs> I had to go real high. I guess, okay, let me try the dual rate. Uh, let me see if I can get higher rates on this. Where's that button at? Let me land it for a second, folks. I'm trying to find the button with my finger here. Is that the dual rate? Yeah, it seems a little bit faster, so I'm in a higher rate now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just trying to see to roll it. But it's still somewhat sluggish. Again, for beginner flyers, learning acro, I guess this would be appropriate. But it's not, you're not going to be going real fast with this. You're going to be going nice and slow and nice and easy with this. And I guess that's what it's meant to be. Nice and easy to fly. Whoa! And my wife is going to go get that. Wow. <laughs> okay, my... Transmitter is beeping. That means I'm low on battery. I do have another battery here. I'm going to try to put it in here. But I want to show you uh, one issue about this quadcopter. These props come off really easy, <laughs> as you can see there. So the props do come off on this. Keep that in mind, folks. So I'm going to try to put these props back on and see if we can get another flight with the second battery I brought from my uh, original Q90. So we'll give it one more shot here. So hold on, folks, and we'll be right back. Well, unfortunately, this prop has to be replaced. It's cracked, 
and I didn't bring any spare props with me, sorry. Um, we are going to call it quits here for the day, but that's the flight of the Q90C. Um, some thoughts on it, real quick. Um, that, that was its flight time. It is alerting me that the battery is low. You can hear that, I'm still plugged in. I don't know if you hear that. But that's how it alerts you, uh, the low battery. That is cool, I like that in a quad copter. And yes, indeed, you can fly this in acro mode. Um, it's not set very high. It's set for beginner's rates in Acro, so it's very, uh, well, sluggish. Intermediate flyers and advanced flyers will notice that. You know, it's, it's somewhat sluggish, but still it's great for beginner flyers to learning Acro, um, the way it's set up here currently. You can do rolls but if, and flips, but if you do such, make sure you're up high because because those rates being so low, it's a very slow roller, a very slow flipper. So keep that in mind too, folks. Again, a beginner's, let me get the dirt off the lens, a beginner's uh, acro flyer. That's what it's meant to be, and it does the job. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out with a Q90C from Ishim. <laughs>